and we're off. All right, Calnus is a little bit ahead, so we'll slow him down. Get these things synced up. Uh, early P bank cave fine for Calnus. Go in the gank in the exact same cave. Bear with me just for a moment while we get this synced. There we go. Make my timer sync to their time. And they both find the raft at 34 seconds in. Making me do some early work here. Let me get my thing updated. So we got uh, Saria fine. They're both going to go grab that mirror and then we'll see what spell we get here. Oh wow, early thunder, but it is quite expensive, so uh, neither one of these guys can cast it yet. It looked like it was 117, but we'll see how that drops along the course of the race. And as always, let me know if the audio sounds balanced, if I miss anything on the tracker, um, just everything in general. So a raw roof find for Cool in the Gank. Calness not having fun with these MOAs. So it looks like these guys are in the north of the western half. Life find here for cool in raw room. Excuse me. That means uh, no fairy spell, so no palace is are going to be required. Unless they end up finding the trophy and the water of life over here to get them fairy or the any key. Not what Countess wanted to find. It's a uh, very castable. It looked like it was 35 for life, so these guys will have it at their disposal if they ever need it early on here. Both these guys going into uh, forest tiles looks like they might be looking for Bagu or maybe just a uh, early pea bag to get some free levels. But it looks like we have a free pass over here on the right to go from the north to the south, and we'll see how far we can get with that. We have a trophy cave find for Countess. I don't think uh, Cool came in here. And we're going to find some boots. Magic container fine for Countess. And uh, vanilla magic container in the magic container cave. We got a grass tile here on Cool in the Gang side. see what's hiding in here. This is that pea bag he was looking for. This is a candles pea bag, so 500 
experience points. We'll get him uh, easily attack two, and we'll see what else he wants. He's getting, going to have two, two, three coming out of this grass encounter. Looks like I can give you guys some more countless stream, so let me get this all stretched out for you. Any key find. So palaces may be required now. Yes, these runners are one and two. I'm going to be joined here on commentary by Jackamus. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, let me crank you a little bit more. Uh, I got a little bit of echo okay. on your side. Uh, yeah, um, just give me one sec here and I'll fix that. That's fine. Alright, so Pal is fine. It looks like Pal is 4. Calness jumps right in with the key. He sees the uh, one up and he turns around immediately. All right, this is any better? Uh, let's see. Yep, it looks like it's perfect. Oh no, okay, perfect. I got some. Oh, um, turn it down a little bit more here. Okay. All right, so um. What you've missed so far is they both found the raft in the very first cave. It was the Pibay cave. Um, then nice. the, they both got thunder from Saria. And they both got life from Raru. Uh, Kalnis has found the any key in the boots. And uh, Cool and the gang hasn't found anything more. I see, I see. And looks like we've got uh, Countess in one right now. Four. And I don't know what he what he's still doing in four. Maybe you are right. Maybe it is one. Yeah, it's the only one with the fairy there. Okay, well then. I didn't see him go into one. I saw him go into four, I thought. but Or maybe we had Cool go into four and Countess go into one. I'll let chat let me know if I'm dumb. Can I hear Jack? I can fix that. Okay. That should be better. Can you hear me now, Zarnax? Oh, oh, I can crank you some more. Oh, there's always reason to tell me I'm dumb. Alright, so Cool in the Gank looks like he's coming through the backwards of Fairy Cave. I don't know where he's planning on going with that. Uh, uh, hard to say I haven't seen too much of the shape of the overworld, but it's entirely possible that he thinks he's blocked from either the north or south half of the continent otherwise. We got Horsehead over on Countess's side. Be a longer than usual horse head fight at attack level two, but horse head's no problem. Sure, Countess has got this. And I think he set up. Um, I think he set up level wise to go ahead and take attack if he finishes this out. I shouldn't have uh, spoken so soon. <laughs> well, cool found the boots in the trophy cave. Those boots were made for walking. Yes. Yeah, the boots really make Death Mountain very trivial when you're, it's on a coast. Uh, they can anyway. There's only the one side of Death Mountain that'll have coast accessible to it. So That's it's true. It's entirely possible That's that there could still be a huge maze. 
And we got Horsehead down. Nice 100 pointer there. Oh, and he's going to be short. And presumably we'll take Magic 3 here. Or he'll just burn the gem. I respect that decision. Yeah, Jack missed strats. Thanks, Autoshy. I'll update that real quickly. And Cool McGank's gonna pick up that magic container inside Magic Container Cave. Not terribly random. I think we need to have some angry words with Dig Shake later on. Checking out Palace One, he's thinking about it, and he's just gonna turn right around for now. Yeah, he definitely found four earlier, so that means that we have one and four on the West Continent. Mm -hmm. Nice 500 points on Countess's side on the grass tile. Should be picking up that attack level three very shortly. Yeah, he shook his head there when the pe the blue potion dropped. He did not want to see that. No, but still plenty of opportunities to get a meager 20 points. Gonna have a look at Death Mountain? Not really. Just checking that one cave that he could get into. Anyone headed uh, east yet with the raft? They haven't. Um, I expect to see Countess take that route right now. Well, for now, he's found the old medicine cave. We shall see what's at the back of this. Yeah, and Cool's gonna make his way into one. He's gonna have a look around there. Got a heart container inside medicine cave. Never an unwelcome find in randomizer. So... Countess just burnt 540 experience. I don't think he ever got the extra 20 he needed to get up to attack. Yeah, kind of surprising. Uh, there were plenty of little uh, small fries in the cave that he could have taken care of to get 20 points there, but uh, in the interest of speed, you want to keep moving. If you can save yourself backtracking a couple of screens with an up and A, it's usually a solid choice there, but uh, you know, I would have personally probably taken the extra 10 seconds to just beat one of the on the way there. So, attack level 3 and then take the up A. Chad's updating us, and it was actually just four experience away. If he would have taken out that Geld Arm, he probably would have had it. Yeah, I wasn't quite looking at the total there. Just saw him up A, and he didn't have attack three. Those blue iron knuckles, those can be very killer in the early game if you're trying to do early palaces, especially if you don't have a down stab. But if you... Oh, almost had it, not quite. There is a way to jump over them without taking damage, but it's really, really tight. Finds a dead end and turns right around. He's got the any key after all. Oh, I did miss him picking that up, so I will update that. Um, you said you said he found the any key. Or uh, that was Townus that found it, but I possibly, um. Cool also found it. Keep our eye out next time he pauses. I can't really see him not getting the key if he doesn't uh, have a magic key, so I would assume that he found it. Nothing on Maze Island as of yet. It can be a little annoying to find the two items buried in there. <clears throat> he does have the boots though, so he can circumvent a lot of the force tiles. We found the 
first one, and the item is the child. Spell items are always something that you're pleased to find there, because more often than not, you're going to need at least one of them for those crucial Reflect and Thunder spells. As the case was in your race just not too long ago. So he was able to hop past that blue Luzalfos without taking any damage that time and picks up the cross. Doesn't quite get back, but uh, he doesn't have to worry about the blue Zophilus anymore because he's right by the exit and he's found both the items on Maze Island. Cross is probably not what he was looking for, but it's still early enough in the race that having the cross is fairly nice for a lot of those nasty graveyard and swamp encounters on the east side. Yeah, that, I'd have no complaints about being able to be on Maze Island 16 minutes in. This is quite nice. He sees the palace on Maze Island. I didn't get to see what it was, but he up A's from it instead of staying over there. I didn't quite catch it either. <laughs> it wasn't in there long enough for me to have a look at the totem. Maybe someone in set chat saw what it was? No, I want to say it was I'm two, gonna guess, but... I'm gonna guess it was probably uh, the three or six totem. Yeah, it's what uh, sports have they say. I could see if you have if you have the key, I'd say you'd probably at least take a look at five or two, but three or six have a high probability of either being blocked by the gloves or blocked by fairy or both. We got cool in the gank, putting the business to horse head here. And horse head is down. Yeah, he's going tied up with gems right here. And he's gonna keep going and place the gem. Good decision. You gotta keep moving in these races. Yeah, he doesn't do the Calnus or Jackmas strat of up A, but. Yeah. Calnus almost walked right out of that cave, but then he clued in. Oh, wait. So that cross is paying off for him with three that cross moas. Helping out incredibly with <laughs> all those guys there. It's a death sentence if you can't see them, that's for sure. You got another heart container? He won't complain. Helps the old not dying aspect of the game. Yeah, this room would be a nightmare without that cross. I mean, it's a nightmare with the cross. I'm assuming that they can't cast it yet. Otherwise, this would be some prime real estate for that, to just get those guys out of the way. Yeah, level 1 Thunder was 117, and I haven't seen what it was at 2. Well, we got Cool in the same cave, and he turns around. I guess he wasn't aware that there's an item at the back there. Luckily for him, it is just a heart container. Got Katsudo on both sides. And we got a jump spell. Is going to be the other Kasuto. 
That's ironic that the Nuka Sudo they built in the middle of a graveyard. Magic containers. Just walk right on in and grab that item. What's it gonna be? 500 points. Okay, and this is gonna take life level and bank the rest of those points. Meanwhile, Cool Megank's gonna move up to attack level 4. We got a pretty tight race right now. Both players inching towards the house with the spell. But will it be the spell, or will it be the fire, or something else? We got fairy. Yeah, the biggest advantage that Countess has right now is the spell items that he picked up. Yeah, could be an advantage. The only uh, free spell left is in... Fire Town with uh, that thirsty broad. And both these guys are still looking for a reflect, so. Yep, yeah, that's the last necessary spell to find. I don't so think either one of them will. Now. They're pretty much in the same area. I don't think either one of them will want for shield, since they have life at least. It can be nice to have both, but one or the other is usually sufficient. We have some interesting artifact happenings on the uh, Countess side. I don't know if it's his um, capture card or his stream. A little blurry, but it's not the end of the world. And Cool remembered that that cave does have an item at the back of it, but it's just a heart container. I'm sure he's not too disappointed with that, though. And Thomas has taken an up and A. Wouldn't be surprised to see him head to Mito here to cash in both medicine and pick up the good old downstab. And we got Cool right behind him, screen for screen right now. Yeah, the only difference is that uh, I don't think Cool ever picked up the Medicine of Life. So he's just going for the downstab. This could be our first real big momentum swing here if we end up finding Reflect uh, buried underneath the old Medicine there. Oh, and I'm told that he did pick up the Water of Life, so this is a fine move by him. Ah. Sorry guys, it's not like we're trying to pay attention to two screens at the same time. I think my problem is when I'm not actually playing one of these, it's pretty easy to lose track of who did what. It's like, I saw someone get this, but I think it was the other guy. Yep, that's what happens a lot here. <laughs> These Zelda 2 races can be pretty hard to follow in the early going when everyone's just going all over the place picking up all sorts of stuff there. It does settle down into a nice, uh, nice easier to follow situation once all the initial flurry of item collecting is out of the way. We're getting close to that point here with most of the free items pretty much accounted for now. Still missing the all-important gloves, so we're probably going to see a lot of palace dives for items. We picked up a fire spell, which could be interesting. It's, it's uh, it tied with jump. Tied. Oh, it is tied with jump. We already know that. Okay, okay. The 
palace right next to it appears to be number five. Palinus is acting fearless. Uh, looking at his webcam, he doesn't seem too comfortable with what he's doing, but he's doing it all the same, and Cool is thinking about it. He elects not to go through five just yet. Yeah, we all know five's gonna have the glove. It's entirely possible. Have we seen the item in full or yet? Um, no. Because we saw the item in one, which was the dingleberry. options for counters and five, which is what you want to see when you're just looking to beat the boss as you go, but uh, easier for the item, that's for sure. I think that might be that glove. We've got Cool in the Gank finding this in cave. He's going to pick up another nice heart container in just a moment here. a little lava bath, saves a few seconds, walking back out. Yeah, Countess is in the room that has the jar and the block. He could have got a, a magic refill and then uh, refilled his life, but... in one of the rooms like that, but I couldn't tell you which one it is. I'm not King Doll. Yeah, it's, it's the one with all the big enemies that has no key door or, or repetitive enemies. Ah. Handy to know. Uh, and this room is the one that doesn't have a key door, has the jar. That one I was aware of. And we got a dead end on Countess's side. I'm not sure if he realizes that he's in a dead end. No, he does. Uh, most of it, Jacober. They ended up going to the east, they got a couple of towns, and then they went to Maze Island. Um, then he went ahead and up aid and got down stab, and that's about all that we've seen. Nobody has found Naburu yet. A little more of east right now. And nobody found Darunia yet. Yeah, but like Jack says, we got cool over here on the east now, so this could be interesting. Looks like he was taking a look uh, to his right. He must have a notepad or something there. Yeah, possibly. He hasn't been out to Maze Island yet either, so we'll see if he goes there. Snarfing up those 500 point bags. Yum, yum, yum. Delicious levels. They're good for you. I don't know what Countess. points. Yeah, I don't know what Countess was waiting for there. Maybe he wanted to see what was coming out of the drippers, and they were they weren't spawning because of my sprites. Five. The drippers just don't spawn something because there's too many fire dropping moas flying around or those monkey things throwing those little candy bars all over the place. 
I know that wasn't a very good description. I always thought of them as monkeys throwing candy bars, though. <laughs> Found us a plunger. Countess so, can go clean up some toilets with that. I took my eyes off of it. Did cool, clear Bane's Island then? Uh, yeah, he found both the items. Okay. And Cool's found Darunia. Nothing up to chance, he's grabbing the upstab. It's possible, but very unlikely that you can be upstab blocked in Great Palace. Yeah, it's just one type of room that can cause it. Yep. And at least on the short Great Palace settings, those rooms often don't exist. So, a lot of the time, it's hard to say if it's worth going out of your way to get upstab when you're playing with a short Great Palace. If you're playing with a full Great Palace, though, you should probably get it every time, because it's pretty often that you need upstab to get through Great Palace in that situation. Yeah, my general uh, idea is, if I'm on the, these Swiss flags, is only get it if I'm going through Jerunia anyways. I'm not going to go out of my way for it, though. Yeah. Exactly. This, on the Swiss flags, it's very unlikely that you'll end up being upstab blocked in Great Palace. I need to pay better attention to Cool Screen. He just went through Darunia and I didn't see his spell. So we'll see next time he presses the start. <laughs> Down is not having much luck finding that item inside of Palace 5. Oh, he got the item in 5. He's looking for Guma now. He got a flute. Oh, 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 right, uh, there was the old plunger there. Yeah, a 3-2-3 two, a three, two, three, Guma at that, so... This will be interesting. So we'll pretty, sure, we there. pretty sure he just went through that room. The other way. Cool side. So we have 150 XP Iron Knuckles dripping. That's not, not too bad at all. Good opportunity to gain some levels if you think you're going to need them. And with Countess in five, it's perhaps not a bad idea to try to beef himself up a little bit for that Guma fight. Or you can just cheese him. And we'll see what happens. He's getting some good drips right now, though. He's just two kills away from a level. Up to attack four. And he looks satisfied with that. He's gonna keep going looking for the old Guma there. Side. It looks like we found the last town. Yeah, that that one's Darunia. He's already been in there. Oh yeah. He just he's looping back around. So it was. Yeah, you have to forgive me. It's 
<laughs> it's confusing to commentate one of these races after you just did one because you have your seed that you just raced still fresh in your mind and you're starting to see things and think things are already found and stuff when they're not. Yeah, I, I can't even imagine people who do back-to-back -back races constantly. It usually ends badly, and we found the glove on Ocean Tile. So Cool's looking down, trying to see if he's in full dig shake mode yet. Just needs that reflect spell, but he's got everything else he needs. Yeah, unless it's going to be trophy blocked again. Fifty-fifty shot at this point. Calnus is spending a lot of time here in five. Not the friendliest layout from the looks of it. He has found Guma now, though. And he's definitely set up to take attack 5 if he can get through this battle. Unfortunately, jump, jump, jump is fire, so he's uh, he's just pushing it backwards. Yeah, that's the downside. That little fireball pushes him off the screen quicker. We've got a half Guma Cheese going on. He's letting him come out a little bit further, but he's using that jump spell to get out of the way of the mace. Oh no, we walked right into him. Getting right back in there, still sticking with the jump strats. Luckily, it seems like Guma got randomized a little lower than what he normally has. It's still going to take a good amount of hits to put him down. moments here for Countess. Last life, you don't want to be game over in here. Just one more. There you go. Oh, Countess with the clutch finish. That's cool. Looks like he's inside three right now. Quite a lovely combination of enemies right there. Three hundred points off blue iron knuckle is not too shabby. No, but can we take a moment to can we take a moment to appreciate this pink? Heading back east, he's gotta find that ocean tile. It's nice that he doesn't have to worry about five anymore, but the more time he wastes looking in the wrong places for that glove, it's gonna have him fall a little bit further behind here. Only one hit to knock the rider off the horse. I'm not sure uh, Cool was expecting that. <laughs> there we go. 
playing it a little safer this time. Make sure you get the iron knuckle in the corner for the nice, cheap, easy kill. Yeah, he still can't get on top of him and get the good bounce, but he does take care of him. I think he was trying to jackhammer him a little bit. You let yourself get inside the hitbox when he's flashing, and then jump and you start mashing on it. You can jackhammer him fairly effectively. It's really tricky, though. So we're tied up two and two. Both runners have picked up up stab. In, in terms of dungeon length, though, there's really no comparison between three and five. <laughs> no, definitely not. But the it will play a factor is if Cool doesn't need to dig the item out of five. There's still much on the east that is unknown. Plunger may still be necessary. Yeah, nobody's that's, seen the entrance uh, to... That's a strange looking valley of death. <laughs> yeah, nobody has been down in there yet, so we'll see. It's got a path of uh, tombstones instead of lava for some reason. So we got a shield pickup for... Um, Countess. Countess. I kind of feel like they have to start trying and seeing where some of those caves get. Yeah, we're, we're in desperation mode for Naburu here. Both players want to know if they need that trophy or not. Mm -hmm. You really want to eliminate that unknown before you start digging for too many items. Counters does have that flute though. It puts it to no use immediately. Well, there's one cave there. Is it an item cave? It is. Now we'll see what item it is, but he's still missing that glove. I don't believe I saw him go in the water tile yet. That glove is still an unknown. Got another heart container there. Not what Countess was hoping to see, I'm sure. It might be Naburu being blocked by Flute. Naburu is Reflect. This could get very interesting. We haven't quite seen the entire lay of the land up on the north side there. It's still possible that one of those pass-through caves will get there. I did see the um, Darunia Pass over there, so we'll see if, where that leads to as well. And sure enough. Oh, nope, there's the other side of the pass right there. Cool heads up there. You can still get through. So it looks like we can skip Flute. Yep, flute not required, but it was it was looking it was looking believable for a moment. Oh, it looks like Palace Four is up there too, maybe. Uh, we've seen Four already, haven't we? Oh, we did. You're right. Four was on the on the west, so that, that, that should be that should be Palace Six or possibly Great Palace if we haven't seen that yet. Correct. But we'll find out soon enough. Kalnis is heading that way, it looks like. Trudging through. Yep, 
It is Palace 6, so we know that GP is in the Valley of Death. So this is very interesting. Cool. Cool is in full, full dig shake mode now. Yeah, and he'll be able to go Slam into Palace 6. Get her done. Countess just needs the glove. It's only on Ocean Tile. So hopefully he can track that down quick and keep this thing close. And he knows he's got everything he needs from the looks of it. He's just plowing right through there. No hesitation at all. Time to have a look around. See how straightforward this Palace 6 is. Or how completely not straightforward it is. We get a drop early. enough magic for jump. To build up oh. oh. Well, cool not Canadian confirmed. <laughs> yeah, you spent a lot of time in that hole today. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> and while we were watching him jump that gap, Countess snuck into the water tile and stole the glove, so he's now entered full full on dig shake mode himself. Both at two gems apiece. Mighty interesting race now. I'd give Cool a slight edge here because he's completed a longer palace and is currently exploring the other big palace. But this is this is a race. We have a legitimate race going on right now. Yeah, it really comes down to how much time is Cool going to spend in five. going to be a factor and then the other big fa factor from here on execution this this is this is very much the skill part of the randomizer now you've got the puzzle all sorted out now you have to play the game and are you and are these players are their skills up to par Cool, a little bit hesitant to go get that item out of six, but does indeed turn himself around and go back for it. Most likely hoping for uh, a magic container, I would say, and that is what it is. So, have you had a chance to? Uh, that's what he wanted to see. Have you had a chance to spy what thunder costs now? Um. I have not... Well, they haven't leveled up their magic in about 20 minutes apiece, so it's still probably the same. Uh, that extra magic container for cool, I think, makes it affordable. I think it was 94 or 95 or something like that. So there is no discount for magic 3? Back to the Canadian hole. And just right down. We know we gotta go somewhere different now. Now this is hacking his way through three here. Wasn't a particular three long house. Problem with those uh, Stalfos pinning in between the two of them. 
A little bit of Night at the Roxbury action going on. Mm-hmm. Familiar room on Countess's side. And he's just gonna ignore those enemies. No sense trying to start a fight that's just gonna get you killed. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to cast Thunder on them, but realized that he didn't have enough for it yet. Cool. Looks like he was going for some uh, Yak Hammer. Oh. Oh, I wow, that balance. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I don't think I'd be brave enough to try that with Attack 5, but that worked out pretty well. <laughs> He's not going for it again. He's just playing it safe now. <laughs> Wisely so. Very nice fight. And just enough to get over the hump, he's going to take attack 6 here. Yeah, that worked out for him perfectly. He's smiling on that webcam, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh, I better mark that for him. We got Rebo over on Countess's side. Yeah, he's not going to be set up to take the next attack level himself, so we'll see if he takes the magic level instead. Gonna be kind of tough to predict what Countess is gonna do here. We've already uh, seen him burn a jam earlier on. I wouldn't be surprised if he does it again here. That's also a possibility, yeah. If he wants to get attack six as quick, no, he's gonna take the experience this time. But if he was looking to get attack six as quickly as possible, all he had to do there is, if he's comfortable with his magic and life level anyway, just burn the gem, head to another palace, and hope he get a little more points on the way through. Oh, he does indeed burn the gem in the end. Hmm, but not right away though. That's a curious decision. <laughs> I think he forgot he was on Maze Island and then realized he doesn't want to leave Maze Island or walk out of Maze Island, so. Could be, could be. So now we've got Cool inside four. And Thunder is definitely castable for him. This looks like he's heading down towards that himself. So it looks like it's a yeah. It looks like it's pretty good four. Not too many traps to fall into. No, nope, just just keep going right, and there's the boss. Don't really have to think or take too many decisions here. No, I'm I'm curious to see how much Karras going to be worse, cause, worth, because it could get a uh, cool over the hump to get attack seven. Um, it's possible. Three hundred should do it. And he looks like he's either going to go for attack 7 or spend those 5,000 points to get his levels where he wants them. Yeah, both are good decisions at this point. He still has two more palaces, <laughs> so he can either um, invest now or an up aid later, or he can uh, take attack 7 and get even more levels later. I'm just laughing at uh, Cool's webcam there. It looks like he sang a little victory tune as he placed that gem. <laughs> yeah, you know. Da 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 da. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> so, uh, Countess is not going to have enough experience to get over this hump. Uh, nope. So, it'll be interesting to see if he burns yet another gem, or uh, he's turning around? I'm not, not sure what he's doing now. I 
I think he's looking for a jar so he can uh, reflect back these wizard beams, but there's not going to be one in four. shaking his head. He's regretting his decision to go back and grind already. Let's see what else he can find. That's not gonna do it. Yeah, especially since they suck the XP too. He is not happy. take his losses and go back. There was another elevator he could try. Nope. He is going to just take the gem and move on. Probably the wise decision. It's really tempting to go back and grind to try and get a big payout from that crystal, but in the randomizer, it's not like vanilla where you can guarantee yourself so much experience. The big point enemies in the dungeon that you might used to be being there, they're not there. They're just those little raccoon things that give you nothing. Or, oh, I walk past like three blue iron knuckles, I'll be fine. And then all of a sudden, they're only giving me 70 points. It's a huge risk anytime you want to go back and grind. So that little bit of grinding has given Cool a little bit of time in 5. He still hasn't found his way to Guma though, so... We are dead even again at 4 gems apiece. Yep. Cool needs 5 and 2, whereas Countess needs 6 and 2. Cool discovering the 150 iron knuckles dripping out. Shouldn't have any interest in that at this point. His levels are looking pretty okay. Yeah, he'll be able to sink a lot in when he gets to this uh, gem placement. That's one way he could go about it if he wants a ton of magic and life levels. He should be in the 7,000 range. Yeah, that'd set you for the rest of the game for sure if you did it that way. Yeah, you'd be able to burn that last gem. Lower. Oh, we found that plunger. And this looks like he's taking the long way around the eastern continent. He knows where six is. He's gonna go do two first. Cool in five and cow in two. Still with you? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I think I must have cut out for a moment there. I was talking, but I heard no response. Looks like Cow was thinking about hitting a couple of those drippers on the way through. Yeah, they're just getting despawned again by all the Moas, like you said her before. Oh, get that fairy up! Oh. Saves himself. After taking that life 5 though, that's just more experience that he needs if he's going to get attack 6 exclusively from the gen. He might have to cut his losses and go to attack 5, which is perhaps not ideal, but it's not that many more hits on Thunderbird as long as you're comfortable fighting them. Yeah, that's basically what we'll come down to at this point. That in the Barba fight, but... We saw a cool tank down bar, but, um, attack five. 
Who put on a clinical performance in that Barba fight? Side. Yeah, I think we should be coming up to Act a helmet head soon. This is not going to last very long. Try to get in there with that jackhammer just a little too high on the jump. Buddy takes a note, Doom is down, and only one more gem left for cool. So just 6,500 from this gym, but you should be able to get plenty of uh, um, magic and life levels if you want them right now. Yeah, that'd be the... that would, I think, would be the smart play at this point. Attack 8 is honestly overkill in most situations. No, he's going for that attack 8. It's curious play. It was a cheap attack egg too, though. Wants to make mincemeat out of Thunderbird. And for that matter, when he does get the helmet head, he ain't gonna last more than one hit, probably. <laughs> yeah, he's going with those zombie strats. might be enough to cast a shield spell. Well, I suppose it's also possible that he went- f he's no easy- he's got another gem left. He could have taken attack 8 there to get even more experience from- but of course that leaves you at the risk of attack 9. I don't think we've seen that in the tournament yet. Be a bold play. Go ahead on Countess's side. <laughs> Countess a little beat up, but he's got some extra lives, so not a huge time loss. Dying to Helmet Head is uh, annoying, but jumping into him has to be the worst way to die. He's relieved to see that he can get attack 6. But because he is missing one of the magic containers that Cool found, that he's going to have to take a magic level and hope that Thunder becomes cheaper at some point. Uh, he might have to take more than one. There, there's been seeds where I've seen players that uh, didn't pick up enough magic containers be forced to grind up to magic level 8 on uh, these alphas just to be able to cast that thunder spell to finish up. Yeah, you get, you get trapped where you think, oh, I should only need one more magic level to be able to cast thunder, but you still can't do it. And then you still can't do it. And then it gets to the point where you spend 20 minutes grinding and you're thinking, maybe I should have just went and looked for the magic. Now I think Cool got his from Palace 6, so that's still a possibility. Yes, there was one in Palace 6, which uh, we've got Countess in right now. And if you're following the meta and able to jump over Canadian Hole, that will take him right to the item room. Now we have to ask ourselves, is Countess... Canadian? Oh, he's on the wrong side for the key. It's on the other side, but it's not like he needs a key anyways. Oh, not quite catching himself with fairy.
see too much of six when cool was in there. No, not that I remember. It's possible. It's often possible that there's multiple ways to get to the boss in six, depending on how things line up. But now that he's gotten back to this room, I'm finding it less likely. And I blinked, and Helmet Head is down. Yeah, he's got the the Ooh, turtle, nice the turtle helmet kill. So he hadn't even taken off his second helmet yet, and he was already dead. And Countess just needs to quickly cleanse his lack of magic with some fire there. If all else fails. Exactly. <laughs> and we've got cool inside GP at 106. Pretty fast to see what we've got going here. Yeah, and here he goes with all the... Uh, he's going with some life, but... I think he should sink something into magic to save him on thunder cost, maybe. Yeah, here they come. <laughs> Eight, six, seven. Pretty beefy levels. I only saw a glimpse, but I think it said 60 for Thunder at Magic 6. Mm. So it doesn't look like it's much of a reduction. Levels. You usually don't see levels this high in the randomizer in, in a quick seed like this. So that's just really good experience management on Cool's behalf. Oh, oops. Countless just menued and I didn't, just didn't get to see what Thunder was at Magic 4 now. Or at Magic 6. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, for the Countless. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to see if he can cast it without finding that jar. Because he just found Barba. It does not look like it went down in cost at all. Oh, oh, Countess! Getting in there with some yak hammer. I have to think he's gonna play it safe now. He's almost dead. Just one more hit. Canis will be in GP pretty shortly. He's maybe only about two minutes behind, and there's still a lot of great palace left to explore and navigate your way through. We still got ourselves a race here. Nothing is decided yet, that's for sure. Yeah, it really comes down to uh, if Thunder just reduced in cost or not. And it might not be something that he's thinking of at the moment. It's possible, no? We've got Thunderbird on cool side here. He just checked it. Possibly. Oh yeah, he he definitely just checked it. Thunder's 91 at Magic 5. be able to afford it at six is he gonna look for a container or is he just gonna grind and get a level yeah, magic six is uh 2200 it can go by pretty quickly if these alphas are good points i don't think we've seen anybody kill one so i couldn't tell you <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's beside himself though he cannot believe it
fair amount of junctions in GP so far. Not all of them, mind you. There's still a little bit of navigation left to do here. But Thunder being 91 kind of feels like that might be it for Catalyst here. So we got. He looks like he is gonna try to grind it out, but. 150 each. Some of Alphos are not too great, sadly. And just 50 for the red guy, so... Yep, there's no point going after the red guy. Hit the blue guy and go. He's got eight more to do before he can afford his thunder spell. He's running out of time. since Thunderbird. And we've got Dark Link. Pretty tame, great palace all things considered. Yeah. So there we go, two hits, three. Eight. And that'll do it. Cool and the Gank is victorious with a very impressive time of 72 minutes. I don't think that's quite the fastest that we have so far, but it's up there, that's for sure. <laughs> I've extended the uh interview arm so we'll see if he wants to come in absolutely meanwhile we can continue watching Kalnis grind out this experience to get up to uh, his magic level that he needs uh, next battle will do it for him he's not too far away What's up? Hey, cool in the gang. GG. Uh, how is, uh, I have no idea where, it, um, Countess is, is in the seat. Uh, uh, Countess is on his way to GP right now. Uh, he ran into an issue. Uh, so, he, yeah, he was doing well too, right? Yeah, yeah, this was a really tight race. You guys both played really well, uh. You managed your levels a little better than Countess did, and that ended up making a huge difference at the end because your magic level six uh, made Thunder so much cheaper. Countess found one less magic container than you did, so he cleared Got all the, the one and uh, I went to get the one in uh, six. I fought the Rebanak even though I didn't need to, and I thought, what if he gives me something worthwhile, you know? Yeah, that ended up being a really smart play there. Um, you would have gotten away with it because you were able to get so many uh, levels. But at five containers, you straight up needed Magic 6 to be able to cast Thunder. So, so... how tight it was for Thunder. And I yeah. thought... Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know when I'm in doubt, I always go for the all-in attack. Like even try to level up other things. I stay at seven three three or seven three four, and then and right up until the, you know, until the end, and then uh, I get my attack nine and I put everything in the magic and. Yeah, that worked out really well for you. Uh, that's 
that is the highest uh, experience levels that I've seen in quite a long time in this randomizer. Usually it seems like it doesn't quite work out when you're trying to abuse the gems for a lot of levels like that, but uh, hey, you know, man, uh, you manage your experience very well, and uh, that definitely uh, gave you an advantage towards the end with your inflated You agree levels. that it's a good, it's a safe track, you know? You, you can die and lose experience, but you always as long as you yeah, then you're, you're okay yeah plenty of time to make up for uh, lost experience if you manage it well enough and uh, in your case I don't really think you had any particularly uh, wasteful game overs anywhere there it didn't seem like you died a whole lot uh, both you and Countess played really well in this one there yeah countess is a, a player that uh you know he, he doesn't play a lot right but when he does he's um he's very unpredictable so i was worried and both of you put on a nice little show in the barber fight you both went in with uh, attack level five at different times mind you and you both just jumped right on his head and went to town on him there i was yeah. going nuts <laughs> yeah 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 but uh, that's, that's always fun like uh, i've been posting some really good times uh now and i used to have a even with a good seat like this seat was straightforward but it was still spell item blocked it wasn't. Thunder was in five. Uh, Reflect was in five. Hard to find because it was out. It was you had to to go through all those tunnels. Uh, yeah, there were only two ways up there. Uh, there was either the Darunia tunnels, which you took, or the River Devil also led up there. Um, Countess found the Countess did five early and found the flute, and that's how he got up there. Ended up finding it not because I was looking for it, just because Palace Five was being an idiot and yeah, sending me yeah. everywhere I didn't want to go. Yeah, that was one of the longer Palace Fives that I've seen. Both of you guys had a little bit of trouble navigating oh, through it. It was awful, but at least you take comfort and like, oh well, at least he's probably dealing with the same, you know. Well, we've got Countess on Thunderbird right now. Looks like he's got it. I, f I forgot to check the standings. You're like, you're like what, three and zero or two, two and one or something? Uh, me? Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I went three and one. Three and one, yeah, yeah. Good for you. Got a room named after you, and uh, I was telling Eon I'm trying to move in too. I want a room named after me, so I'm, I don't know what else I can do in Great Palace. <laughs> well, there's 57 rooms in Great Palace, you know. There's know. one of them. I'm sure you'll find some space to set up shop in there. Yeah, and I, I want to move in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could get a room in uh, Palace Six, like BGT has. Uh, the Canadian hole, or uh, which room is that? No, uh, BGT's room is the lava room with the flying unicorn heads. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, is that the one with um, not the lava the lava pit, the one with the that's blocked on both sides by by hammer blocks? Yeah, yeah. And I think uh, Riku player also has a room in P six. Oh, but he's a new player. <laughs> How did he get? How did he get his room so fast? It, he either did My something really incredible or <laughs> something really dumb. That's how we all get our rooms. <laughs> it was a lot of uh, die game overing in that room right before the barber fight. He's got a lot of heart. I was, I was watching his first runs and it was posting five hour runs, you know. And I thought, my god, the guy just doesn't give up, you know. I'm so glad he's in the tournament. Yeah. I think I think we all started out like that. I remember the early days of the randomizer when it was like, "Oh wow, you did it in under three hours! That's yeah, impressive." Yeah. <laughs> uh, under th under three, I I was never playing online with it. Like I was playing by myself locally, and uh, 
Not until I got better that I start uh, racing and stuff. Yeah, well, uh, your practice clearly shows you did uh, really great in this particular race, man. So uh, congratulations again on winning there. I, I went through all the caves I was supposed to. I never found the second P-Bag cave in the East Continent, but I stopped looking for it when I found my, blo my glove. And that glove was in a... Oh, right, it was in the water tile, I think. That's right. Much earlier, if I had, I'm sure. Alan has probably found it first because you get the boots fast you get early on. Um, and then if you go east and just walk right, you you'll run into the water tower. But I took all the detours and. Yeah, you you both kind of explored east in a similar fashion. You actually found the glove before Calanus did. I, found, not, I thought I found not, it late. Not too long before, he was maybe a couple minutes after you, he found the ocean tile there. How about that uh, Death Valley entrance with all the crosses? I've never seen that before, that was uh, different. I'm not oh, sure yeah. if that's something that's meant to happen or if that's uh, something Jig Shake has to look into. <laughs> The end of Spartacus when they crucify all the slaves. I'm like, oh my god, this is like an omen of uh, evil, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was worried it'd be a. Because I've seen um, an encounter with a. a, a, a the defense encounter with the um, the guys who throw potatoes at you at, in, in Death Mountain. Uh, like broken encounters, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Potatoes. You know, I always thought they were cookies myself. Different things. Uh... Chat now. I don't think you can pick what the sword beam is. It just gives you a thing. You know, I never play around with those. The, my only one, the only one that I like is random tunic color. I did the sword beams a couple of times. I just find it confusing if you end up like shooting axes or fireballs. It's like, uh, did I cast fire? Uh, no. Uh, why are there axes? Is there a Daria throwing them at me? You know? Up, like, your collision? Like, do you think, like, uh, it did, how did that not connect? Because you're on top of it. One option that I do think fun that I, uh, wish more people would uh, give a fair shake is randomizing the enemy colors. That, does it still change the palette of the uh, life bar? Because that was confusing. Um, I don't know. I think the life bar shares a palette with uh, the red enemies inside. Palaces. Orange is obviously shared across yeah. items and, and, you know, in life. And the uh, yeah. orange enemies and, and, and red enemies, and so that's why it's, it's it behaves like that. Yeah, I don't think it's possible to to separate the two different palettes. You'd probably have to change the whole way that all the colors and stuff are coded in the game to do that. Last box is a sprite, and it's uh, obviously uh, based on your, the amount of your HP. Well, Dig Shake seems to know what he's talking about, so we'll go with that. Yeah. Do we have a confirmed number of entrants in the uh, uh, super race that's gonna... I, I believe it was 13, but I could be off. I was just trying to be nice, Dig. That's all I was doing, man. But you went and ruined it. For yourself. And I guess for me, kind of. We got Dark Link. 
I'm just gonna finish this thing off here. Many holes after Thunderbird, I was a bit worried that it was gonna send me back to the entrance. Yeah, there's always a real worry about something like that, but it really didn't seem like either of you really had any decisions to make at that point. It was just, oh, this is a dead end, better go down the hole, better go down the yeah. hole. Yeah, and, uh, and I hate that room. You know the one with, um, you, you get dropped in the room that's left, right? With the fireballs? Oh, yes, yes. That That's always an uncomfortable room to fall into. And then I, I, I went right and it was the Eon drop. And then I didn't take it because I was too worried and I went right and it was a dead end. And I, then I went and took the Eon drop and I thought, what if I was supposed to go left at that screen after? And I thought if I, if I, get, stuck, if I get sent back, that's the first thing I'm going to check is that left there. But sometimes it just ends up being the life. Hmm. We'll see if the okay, Calmus wants to come in. officially done there. Is he coming in here? Um, we can offer it to him. I hope he does. He's doing a 12-hour tournament this weekend, and I wanted to ask him about it. Yeah, I saw that on his stream. His, uh, his username was 12 hours, so... Some sort of event going on for him, at the very least. Anas wanted to race me on Sunday night, and I just re was dead tired. I spent the day at the beach with my kids, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I'll probably lose if I race now. I think he <laughs> wanted to get the tournament out of the way and, and focus on the 12-hour thing. I haven't heard anything from him, but it looks like he's at his computer, so we'll see what what's going on. I just saw him wander off on his webcam. Don't blame him, I usually need to stand up for a few minutes after a race myself. We can always see if he wants to chat when he gets back there. Uh, unless we're pressed for time for another race coming up, I don't know, maybe? Isn't this the last one? Yeah, this is the last one for the evening, and then there's just a group race going on after this. So. Oh, okay. Anybody who wants to stick around for interviews, feel free to. People who want to set up for a race, go ahead. Uh, I linked the race room in chat, so feel free to join that channel. Right on, right on. So this puts you at 2 and 2, which means you're racing this weekend? Yeah. gonna be a tough road to go if I got the, my first two losses were uh, they were heartbreaking losses three minutes to error and then three minutes to shiner and you know it, could, it just shows that the level of the, the, the players and and it can really swing both ways and, and now we got countess here with us how you doing I see him, I don't hear him though. There we go. Hey. Hello. So what actually you... heard the mute button though. <laughs> what you think of that Valley of Death? That was different. I don't know why that happened. That was pretty confusing when I saw that from the north. So a I big did see it from the north too. A big part of this match came on to uh, Magic 6 versus Magic 5. Yeah, I screwed up uh, a lot of my levels. I burned three gems and didn't get anything out of them. I think... I, I could be wrong, but it looked like you were very close to be able to get um, Attack 6... Or Attack 7 out of Barba Kill. I don't know how close you were to it, though. Um... Because she did give a thousand. Yeah, I think that gave me, uh, 
I think that like barely put me over like the I think I needed like 1700 or so for the life level and then it was like 3300 for the attack. So, I don't think it was that close, but I definitely wasn't going to go grind for it. No, I I don't blame you for that immediately, but it didn't end up having to make you grind. Um yeah. Cool ended up finding the Rebo that was blocking a magic container in 6. Ah. So yeah, I only had one magic container. He I also almost upade and I thought I'm um, a little short on magic, so maybe I'll take a chance, you know. He also ended up at 867, so he was able to cast it regardless. Yeah, not a single risk that I took in this seed paid off for me. <laughs> yeah, you went early Maze Island and you didn't get anything out of that. Yeah. I think I went in uh in early Maze Island as well. I got the the child in the cross. Oh, he was on Maze Island at like 15 minutes in. He was... He got that raft and beelined his way over there. <laughs> yeah, I did Palace 1 first, but I had that done by 10 minutes. Yeah. Same thing. And I'm, but I'm looking at your items and we have all this the exact same items, so we must have played it very similarly, you know? Yeah, it, it was a good match. It was really close. Yeah, I'm thinking Palace 5 must have lost me more time than I thought, because I didn't think I was so far behind, and then I started looking at my timer after I was done in there, and it was pretty bad. But I didn't think I gamed over too much, so maybe I just had a bad path in there, I don't know. Yeah, have to check no, the on Palace 5 was just a, a little bit uh, of a troll, you know, like uh, sending you the first right would send you really deep in, I think even gave you the item. Yeah. Which, uh, you didn't, uh, you probably, I don't know if you used that, I didn't use the flute. The plunger. Oh, you know? I felt like it was required, but I must have missed a cave because I used it to get up to Palace Six. So there must have been a okay, cave. So up I didn't there. even know that it connects because there is a cave that's right below um, uh, Kisu uh, Old Kasudo that connects. Yeah. Yeah, I actually didn't have. Uh, I never went through any of the tunnels in the Eastern Continent, so I figured like I was hoping that you didn't pick up the uh, flute and that if it did lead somewhere, like if you needed to go through a cave to get up there, it might take a while to do that. Loot required is extremely rare, so I didn't think it was going to happen. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you guys were actually in um, Naburu at the exact same time. So it was it was interesting. One came in from the other side and the other uses a flute to get there, but... A lot to sync happened this entire race. It was a good back and forth. And, like I said, it really did come down to just not having the magic to cast Thunder. Yeah. Is, I mean, it, you may have still lost, but it wouldn't have been 15 minutes. It may have been less than 5. I was really surprised when you finished, because that was a 112, and I was expecting to have, like, you know, like, at least 10 more minutes to go, but... <laughs> Oh well. If I didn't game over. I, know, I, I thought you were really close behind me. I was uh, I was worried. Yeah, great game by both of you guys. Um, so cool one to ask you about this weekend. Your uh, twelve hour challenge. And which yeah, game I'm did not, you pick? I'm not a hundred percent fixed on one. I was gonna do uh, Zelda two all keys if I won this match and got into the placement thing, but now I'm kind of on the fence again. Because I was wanting to pick something that was like really short, because uh, all the games I've done for it so far were longer games, and I only fit in like one run before I drop the game and just never touch it again. So I kind of wanted something shorter that I actually grind out. So we'll see. I might change my mind. Which other games are you thinking about? Um, I don't know. I didn't really have any in mind. I was putting that off. <laughs> I've just been kind of focused on practicing for this. Straight or six six hours on Saturday, six hours on Sunday. Yeah, <laughs> I think usually I've just done uh, the whole twelve hour session in one day. I know there's at least one that I broke up though. But I've been doing longer games. Like I did Majora's Mask any percent once, and that was like I did I think one full run and never even finished it. And other games that take like you know three or four hours for a full run. So it might be interesting to get something where I could get like, you know, numerous attempts in and actually get good at it before I drop it. Right. Well, it looks like they're going to be starting up a, uh, another race. Just, it's not a tournament race, it's just a for fun race. Um, 
I can link you the room that they're in if you wanted to join. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> Me too. Uh, so... Yeah, same here. Good race, you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Yep. Yes, thanks for see you commentating around. and restreaming and all that. Yeah, no, no problem. Yeah, thanks uh, a lot, Jackie. Yeah, Jackamus headed out. Um, he was having some mic issues, and I don't think he wanted to uh, get it on stream. Dark anymore. Magician? Uh... Yeah, this is Dark Magician. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, you sounded so familiar. <laughs> um, but good luck in the rest of the tournament, cool. Good luck with your 12 hour challenge, Countess. Yeah. Okay, see you around, guys. And that's going to do it for us tonight.